that free fighting by disputing representatives of oil producing communities was the talking point of day two of the public hearing on the petroleum industry bill. The public hearing is aimed at engaging stakeholders, especially host communities, on the best way to harness the potentials of the oil and gas industry. At the commencement of the hearing Monday, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, explains that the bill, when passed into law, will address all concerns as regard to host communities in the oil region of the country. Day two of the public hearing began just like any other hearing with representatives of host communities coming to make presentations. Involve our people and the only problem we have is that when we are not comfortable with our situations, we make agitations. And the Nigerian government usually make laws and turn these agitations. But in making these laws, these laws are made in such a way that at the end of the day, we, the agitators, and the tenant communities become the victims of these laws. If the recommendations here in contain are uh, considered by the committee, we have a PID that will be acceptable to the people of the Niger Delta region. But if the PID that is in the present state is passed into law, it will lead to chaos in the oil community of the Niger Delta region. Establishing community by community form may be very cumbersome. We can. We can have a local government chair. Confusion, however, set in when a host community came for its presentation and aggrieved representatives of some other community attacked him. At this point, it took the serious intervention of security personnel to calm the situation. <laughs> The public hearing was forced to come to a halt. For now, it is not clear if another day will be scheduled for the continuation of the hearing or this could be the end until the matter comes up at plenary. Charity Tanku, ITV News, Abuja.